Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. I am hopping on here because it is time to do my most dreaded declutter. And it's dreaded not because I absolutely love these products and they're my favorite makeup products. They are not. They are the necessity ones, the ones that are, you know, not the funnest, but they are necessary in your makeup uh, routine if you're doing your makeup full face. And these are my foundations, the tints, my concealers and my powders. Now, <clears throat> the reason why I say dread it, it's not because I don't love them. I do love foundations, I do love concealers, and I do love powders. I don't love them, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, I don't love them as much as I love colorful makeup, and I don't really love to like, it's not my favorite video to watch, but I know people love it. I know um, it is viewed on, on um, YouTube. So I figured if you like to see foundation declutters and you like to see concealers and powder declutters, then this will be the video for you. I uh, do desperately need to declutter some things because some of these foundations are old, some of them are no longer working for me, concealers need to go, powders need to go, and I was gonna do it anyway and I figured why not film. So if you wanna see my foundation, concealer, powder, declutter, and you love these type of videos, uh, keep on watching and I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. powders now I'm going to have a lot of powders and I'm gonna pull them out and we'll go from there so first one you saw is this Givenchy Prisma Libre in two set in blank um this is the old version it's very well loved as you can see it's very dirty I also have the one in pink but it's in my everyday makeup bag so <clears throat> I will be keeping these. Obviously, they are some of the best powders. I'm very sad they reformulated, but it is what it is. I will use these up. Then I have the old school OG Laura Mercier Translucent. I am not a big fan of this powder. It's very drying. Um, I would only use it under my eyes. I don't particularly use powder for anything else much. So this one is very drying and even though this is OG and everybody loves it and uses it, I'm going to let it go. Moving on, I actually have another small version of this and I think I might keep the travel size just for, look who's here, hey baby, hey Lucy. Hi, you want to sniff the <laughs> sniff the powder? Oopsie, she came to eat. Of course, I have to keep her food bowl on the table because my doggy loves to eat her food, so I have to keep it away from him. And of course, she's hungry right now. Anyway, I digress. I will keep the travel size just to have it to compare maybe uh, in the future, but I will pass on the big one. I have two powders from <clears throat> Charlotte Tilbury. Airbrush Flawless Powder in One Fair and Air, Airbrush Brightening Powder. I do love the Airbrush Flawless. Obviously, this is not my first one, so I will be keeping this. However, I am not the biggest fan of this. It did get a hard pan. It doesn't do much for me. Um, I will be letting this one go. Moving on, <clears throat> I have two powders from, or three powders from Pat McGrath. Uh, my very, very loved one is Pat McGrath, the one in this dark one. I, I've had this one for years. I do love it, and you could, as you could see, like the dome is gone, but I don't often use it. I use it just if I need to kind of set I can't even explain. I use it very rarely, but I use it 
under my bronzer to kind of even it out, if that makes sense. Uh, but I will not be letting this one go. I've had it for years. I know you're supposed to declutter and get rid of things, but it's a powder and whatever, you get it. Then I have the one in light. I use this one for under my eyes. I don't use it often, but this is like my third one. So I will be keeping it because I do reach for it once in a while. I just have to clean it. Like it does get hard. And that's the one thing I don't really like about this particular one. And it's only, uh, I guess for this shade, but whatever. Anyway, and I got the pink one. Um, I've been using it. As you could see, the dome is like flat. It's pink, but... It's a very good, it's a very nice light pink and it works very well for under the eyes. I will be keeping it. Now, one that I will be letting go is this Rare Beauty one and I am not a fan. I, maybe I got too dark of a color, but I just overall don't particularly love this powder formula. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's not, it's very, creamy and hard i don't know i don't even know how to explain it but i am not a fan so i will be letting go of this powder i thought initially maybe i wanted to try like a lighter uh form of this but it's just not the formula doesn't agree with me not to say that it's a bad uh, powder it just doesn't agree with me so i will pass it on to somebody who might use it who likes it Okay, my Bare Mineral, I guess this is foundation, uh, neutral medium 15. I love the OG Bare Mineral foundation. I will be keeping it, but I will move it to my foundation. Say, um, Air Set Translucent Powder. Uh, it has survived many, many declutters. I am not, it's a beautiful powder. It's very smooth, very, very well, very finely milled, but it is shiny. I don't know if you could see it. So I like this powder more in the winter time when my skin is uber dry. It, yes, it does get dry here in Southwest Florida in the winter, it does get cooler, so. I will keep it. I don't use it in the summer so much, but in the winter time under my eyes, it looks beautiful, even though it is quite, quite shiny. Let's not make a mess. Moving on, I have two of these Dior um, backstage face and body powders. No, I had three. I don't know where the third one went. I don't know. Um, I have it in 2N and 3N. I'm not even sure if they make these anymore. I believe they wanted to discontinue these. I I use them, but again, this is sort of like that rare uh, powder formula, and I'm not a fan, so I will be letting them go. Sorry, I was not in frame. I recently purchased this from TJ Maxx because it was an uber pink powder and I was like, oh, I want to try an uber pink powder. Um, it is super pink. If you could tell, it's almost like blush, but it says it's a powder, so I don't know. Um, it, I tried it under the eyes. I did not like it and it's not like finely milled or anything, so I'm going to be letting it go. It's very pink. It will, does not work as an under eye powder. Pink Cloud Loose Setting Powder. Not for me, letting it go. My two NARS powders in Translucent Interstellar. I'm keeping them, I love them. This one is new, this one is older. I love these powders, they're staying. And another foundation that I use as a powder, but I do love this Natasha Denona. High Glam Powder Foundation. I use this as a powder, so I will be keeping this. So overall, out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 powders, I kept... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 
Oh my god, I cannot count today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten powders, and I'm letting go of six. Okay, let's move on to my concealers. Right off the bat, I could tell you that I'm I will be letting this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in uh, doesn't say well it does say but it's super super light anyway this concealer for me at first I thought I liked it but it is extremely extremely drying under my eyes like super drying I don't know on what planet this is hydrating but it's uber drying so I'm letting it go I will keep this uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser in 160. It's like this pink color and I will you keep it because once in, I don't suffer from dark under eyes, but once in a while when I do have them very rarely, I like to use this to cover them up. So I will be keeping. I will be keeping my Say Concealers. I have... I have in three and I have one in six, but where is it? I don't know, here it is. So I will be keeping these. I do love them, you know my love for them. They are super hydrating. So for my dry under eye, I will keep it for the winter time. I will keep this Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Concealer in 2 and O Cream. I recently got this and it's a great concealer for those no makeup makeup days. I just put it on under my eyes, a little bit around my nose, on my chin, and I, I'm good to go. So I will be keeping this. What I will be letting go is, where is it? Is this Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I got the small one in Natural Beige. Everyone raves about this concealer, but it was just, first of all, I bought in a color too dark, but that's even besides the point. Uh, it's too, I don't know, nothing to write home about. It was a little bit drying under my eyes and that's an, uh, a deal breaker for me. If it makes my eyes look like they're dry, it's a goodbye for me. So I'm letting this one go. I will keep my hourglass concealers again I recently got them and I love them they make my uh, under eyes look very nice you don't need a lot of them and I have two colors for my I guess summer time and for my winter time but right now I use them together and I love these concealers keeping my house labs obviously in 21 light this concealer is my holy grail if i were to lose all my concealers and only was able to keep one and this would be it i love my house labs concealers nars creamy radiant creamy concealer i am letting this one go not because of anything other than it makes my under eyes look dry so there's that. There was a time where I loved this concealer, but this is the time has gone and, and came and gone, and I'm letting it go. Lucy girl, what are you doing? Um, Mario concealer. I don't know how I feel about this one. It, I have a love hate relationship with it. it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to let it go only because I have so many and I only have one face and these things go bad. So because it's not like a love-love relationship, I'm going to let it go. I will be keeping my Giorgio Armani concealers. I do love these. They are beautiful. They work for me. I have quite a lot. I don't know why because probably this is a brand new one. I'm not even going to take it out of its box. It's in three. I have in 3.5 and three. This one is almost done. So it's on its way out. It's in three. And these two are three and 3.5. I don't know if I told you what these are. These are power fabric concealers. I love them. I'm going to use them. So out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Out of 16 concealers, I'm keeping 12 and letting go of 4. Okay, on to the big daddy. My foundations, my 
uh, tinted moisturizers, my tint, anyway, I have quite a lot and we have to go through them. Let's do it. Move it to the side. First things first, I know I'm going to be keeping my Dr. Jard BB Premium Beauty Balms. I have one in fair light and I have it in light medium. I love these. These are beautiful. Um, no brainer keeping these. I will also be keeping my Dior face and body. Face and body, what is it? Face and Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundations. I have in 3N, 2.5N, and 3.5N. And then I have one, another one in 2.5N. And then I have one in 2, which I am using up right now. These are great. Obviously, they're my favorite foundations. And they will be staying. I will be letting go of this about face, the performer skin focused foundation. Uh, I don't know. The color was great. I purchased it because I wanted to try it. I think it's Halsey's um, brand. I don't know. It wasn't anything to write home about and I just have so many foundations that I don't want to keep mediocre foundations in my collection. So I'm letting this one go. Another one I will let go is this Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint. I have mine in 310. Everybody raves about this foundation. I didn't find anything special about it. It did not work out for me personally. Uh, it is also in my summer skin tint. And it's glowy. Do you see how glowy that is? I don't know if you guys can see i love that that is actually very nice but it wasn't anything to write home about and it separates so it's time to let it go what else i have these elf foundations which i love the soft glam satin foundation i have it in two colors i have it in where is it 31 and 40 and these are beautiful, so I will be keeping these. However, I will be letting this one go. It's the um, ELF Camo CC Cream Color Perfecting Full Coverage Foundation. It's too thick for me. I'm not a fan, so I will be letting go of this one. I... This foundation, everyone was raving about it. Kathleen Lights, love it. It's one of her favorite. I, I don't know. I, I don't have an opinion on it. I think I only wore it once. So I think I'm going to put it in my maybe pile. This is the first one that's gonna go there. I'm gonna put it in my maybe uh, pile and I'm going to try it one or two more times to see what I think about it. And um, we'll see from there, we'll go from there. For now, it's in the maybe pile. My two uh, derma, derma calls, I use these for my sunspots and I have one in, it doesn't even say um, the colors. Oh my God, everyone wants to talk to me today. One is darker and one is lighter and these like, I used to use these when I was in um, like the makeup world, I guess you could say, we used to cover tattoos with the with this brand. So this is a good one and I use very, it's very concentrated and I use very little and I cover up just my sunspots under foundation. I love these. Keeping them, I have two NARS Creamy, what are they? Radiant Sheer Glow Foundations. And they're both in Fiji, so I'm always out of frame. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so this is the older one, and I've had this one for years, and this is the newer one. So I think I'm going to let this one go because it's old, old, old. I'm just going to take out the pump and clean it, but I will keep the new one. 
because this is a nice, it's one of, again, one of those that I really like. And this one's newer, this one's older, so I'm going to let the old one go and keep the newer one. I have two Estee Lauder Double Wear foundations. One is in 3C2 Pebble and one is in 2 in Desert Beige. I keep doing it. I'm so sorry. I will be keeping these even though I did go ahead and purchase the pumps for them. But one of them, I think, believe this one is already broken. I, I can't even press it anymore. So I have to open it up. But I will be keeping uh, these. Ah, oh, Il Maquillage. What can I tell you about this one? It is an interesting foundation. It is very, very full coverage and they have like um, the whole quiz for you. I initially loved this foundation and it worked very well, but the more I use it, the more I realize it's way, way, too heavy. I cannot use this anymore, not even at nighttime. It's just way too heavy and it does oxidize and turn a little bit orange on me after a few hours. So I will be letting this one go. Uh, what else I got here? I got my MAC NC18 face, what is this? Uh, Fluid Broad Spectrum Studio Fix. Now, this foundation is great, however, it is way too light for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this one to someone who can use it and I will purchase myself one that is more my skin tone. So I will be letting this particular one go. All right, okay, moving on, I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Luminous Silk and Power Fabric Foundations. Luminous Silk, Luminous Silk, Power Fabric, Power Fabric, Power Fabric. Okay, hear me out. I used to be a huge fan of the Power Fabric Foundation from Armani. I have it in 3.5 and 6.5. These are never going to leave my sight until I use them up. So this one is almost, no. This one is almost done. It's in 3.5, it's almost done. Another 3.5 and 6.5, I make sense to make it darker. I am absolutely obsessed with these. These are beautiful foundations, long lasting, beautiful for a night out, stay. Same thing with my Luminous Silk, 475 and 59. And I don't know how exactly I got two extra ones. That is a mystery to me. I might have recommended it to a friend and she bought it and it didn't work out for her, maybe. I don't know. Either way, they are staying. I love them. I will be letting go of the matte and poreless Maybelline. I have it in 130. It's just, it's an okay foundation. I don't like how you have to get it out. I did use quite a lot of it, but it's not my favorite and I will be letting it go. <clears throat> I will be keeping my Charlotte Tilbury Unreal Skin Sheer Glow in 7.5 medium. I use this more, this is very, very sheer but it is very, very glowy. So I use it more for like under my foundation or on like a no foundation, no makeup makeup looks. It's great. And I will obviously be keeping my Dior Forever Skin Perfect Skin Tint in 3N. I actually want to get a 2N lighter one. So, because this is now starting to be a little too dark for me. Another foundation I will be keeping is my Tom Ford Architecture Soft Matte. I just got it. I haven't really had a chance to use it that much, but so far I like it and I will be keeping it. I will be keeping my uh, Patrick Ta foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. It's wonderful. It looks beautiful on my skin, so it is staying and I have it in 10 neutral. Now, 
Last one that I will be letting go, hear me out. It's this Tear Tear Foundation. It is a cushion foundation and mine is in 20 and natural beige. It was a great foundation when I first got it. However, now it is, it dried out almost immediately. I barely have any left and I used it maybe like three times. It feels super dry on the skin at this point. And I am, though I loved it when I first got it, I am no longer a fan of it because it just dried up so quickly and it makes my skin look super dry. So I am going to be letting this one go. And um, that is it for my foundations. Let's see how many out of how many and how many I kept, blah, blah, blah. You get my point. So I had to begin with, let me count it up and come back because it's it. so. Out of 33 foundations, I am keeping 24, getting rid of seven, and one is on the chopping block. Um, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Woo, so sorry. I am done with this declutter. I think I did pretty well, to be honest with you. I What I have, I don't have a lot, but what I have, I do love. So not many went, but... I think I did pretty well and I hope you guys liked my declutter and you know like comment and subscribe I hope you like my videos let me know what else you want to see in the future and I'll see you in the next one bye